As these temperatures drop, a lot of you call us saying your electric bills have been higher than in previous winters. So we ask Consumers Energy, what's going on? 24 Hour News 8 Zach Horner is live tonight in Grand Rapids with what they had to say. Zach. Well, Brian and Marley, that's right, I sat down with Consumers Energy earlier, and they tell me the reason for the hike is uh, pretty straightforward. But we sat down with another woman and went through her bills with her, and she was demanding answers. With consumers, we have no choice. We can't go to another company, and it's a, a kind of a monopoly where we have to pay for that increase, whether we like it or not. Haley Haynes and her boyfriend say they're heated over their electric bills this winter. I've noticed that... Um, for this billing cycle, we have $129 in energy use. However, last year, about this time, our bill was $79. And she's not the only one scratching her head. Here are several messages 24-Hour News 8 has received recently. The folks at Consumers Energy say the explanation is simple. December 17 was the coldest uh, December it's been in a decade. January was colder than any... Uh, January we've had, we've had since 2013-2014. We know uh, customers are frustrated. We're not doing anything differently. But she's noticing something she hadn't noticed before. When you get a bill, you just see what the total is and you pay it. You say, oh, it went up, you know, it must be because of the weather or not. But I really started to look into it and I noticed that there's a distribution cost. She says her bill for the most recent cycle is $129, with distribution costs of $65. Roger Morgenstern says that distribution cost is what pays for the service delivery, and it's billed similar to the way energy cost is billed. The more you use, the more you pay. We are looking at a cold pattern right now. When I look out the next, you know, two weeks, we're not going to have many days above freezing. So, unfortunately, those furnaces are going to keep running hard. And consumers tells me that if you have questions about your bill, you should reach out and contact him. And if you're having trouble paying your bill, we have a link posted to this story on woodtv.com along with a couple phone numbers. You can call if you do need some help or, like I said, if you have any questions. Live in downtown Grand Rapids, I'm Zach Horner, 24-Hour News 8.